I'm a sellout and a shield, but I'm at least an honest sellout shield. What is up everyone, this is Jake back with another video, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Smart Art Box. This was given to me by the company, so I didn't pay anything for this. It was sent to me for a review. But yeah, they contacted me by email. They said they enjoyed the channel and the content I made, and they wanted to have me review one of their boxes, so more than happy to do that. <laughs> this YouTube thing is really paying off. I got my first monetary gain. Kind of sort of monetary gain. It saved me 50 bucks, so I consider that a monetary gain. But I promise it will be a completely objective review of it, good or bad. I hope it's good because they gave me a box. That's cool. But if it's not good, I will let you know and I won't pander to them. As usual, be sure to like and subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. Also, you can check out my Instagram page and that's at Brown Jenkins. That's B-R-O-W-N-J-A-K-E-N-S. Or you can check out my Etsy page, which is Etsy dot com forward slash shop forward slash doomsayer designs i think i'll put it on here you'll be able to i can't i can't even remember it's too long but yeah on there i have shirts i have stickers i have art prints i have a comic book and you all don't know how close i am to getting my next comic book done i'm hoping hoping this coming weekend it'll be finite and man it's gonna look good i put a lot more work into the second comic and it's gonna be super sexy so i hope you guys enjoy it it'll be out soon but i will shut up and we will get started with this unboxing so yeah okay Banana cutter. Hopefully this is good too, because I've been looking for a really good new art box. I do believe, but I will double check to make sure, that these are 50 a month. Um, but the whole premise of them is that they're supposed to be art supplies to last you the entire month. So we'll have to see if uh, that's true or not. But I'll, I'll get more details on it and review it in just a minute. Love smart art? Let us know. Visit smartartbox.com to leave us a review and earn your Peacock reward points. Peacock like the channel? I don't know. All right. It's jam-packed full, I'll tell you that much. This thing is heavy. All right, all right. Okay, so they do the same thing. They give you a little booklet with uh, what each thing is, how much it's worth, uh, even gives you ideas on how to use it. That's cool, that's super neat, I like that. Oh, am I gonna do like black toned? Oh, that's gonna be neat. Okay, yeah, that's that's good. I like the effort. Once again, that's what I loved about Scrawler Box, is those little booklets they put in there. They put a lot of effort into it, and I really appreciate them for that. <sighs> And they gave me a sticker. Yes. You know how I am about stickers. Mm, loving it. Go to the water palette here, like this. Right, I'm going to go ahead and get everything pulled out and be right back. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to say just by looking at it. Mmm, Tommy Likey. Tommy Likey. Tommy want oil paint. Okay, so in the booklet here, they put a little piece of paper that says, Our commitment to providing you quality, cohesive art supplies sometimes requires minor adjustments to adapt to our vendors. This month, we are making the following change to your smart art box. Instead of the folding travel palette, I get the nine well paint. Aw, man. That's all right, I guess. I get the nine well paint palette instead of a traveling paint palette. Which would have been cool, but I ain't gonna complain that much. It's okay. It's okay. So in this box, we have the Cobra Study Water Mixable Oil Colors. So this is very interesting. I've never seen oil paint that you can mix with water. So we'll have to see how that works out. Pretty neat. I like the slow dryingness of it. I also really like the water mixability of it. So that's gonna be kind of cool. Then we have the Smart Art Black Canvas 8x10 panels. We have four of those. Ah, four. Okay, so this is supposed to be supplies for the entire month, and they give me four canvases. What in the Picasso wizardry ass is this? I can't do four paintings in a month. Are you out of your mind? It takes everything I have to unbox like two or three things a month. They expect me to paint four things. You know what? You know what? That's a point off. They've given me too much. They give me too much value for this box. And I'm just, could you imagine? Like, <laughs> could you imagine me being such a caring ass about that? I love a lot of painting on black, too, so... I'm not actually going to paint on black, I usually use color pencils and stuff like that, which they got me covered there with a charcoal white pencil. Excited about that too. Next is the six piece golden Taclon artist brush set. This bad boy right here. Um, I don't know, I don't know what this brand is. It's either artist brushes or high quality. If it's artist brushes, it is very straightforward, not subtle at all, you could do better on the creativity. And if it's high quality, well, that's indicative of a low quality product. We'll have to test it out and see. You know, if, it tell, if you have to tell me it's high quality, I usually don't believe you. But we got a little nice set there. It's all right. Honestly, I don't know how to paint half the time anyways. I would much rather use crappy off-brand brushes, get a bunch of them, rather than have like one $30 brush and not know how the hell to use it. Next thing is the General, well, of course, pencil, white charcoal pencil. Uh, I will say I'm not a huge fan of General. Uh, I like their needed erasers. It's about the only thing I can say of Generals that I like better than other products. So we'll have to, we'll have to see how that works. Then we have the Mona Lisa Pink Soap Artist Brush Cleaner. I've never actually used the Mona Lisa brand, 
Um, I think I have a brush tank by this, but that's it. I've never used the soap, uh, which I like the soap. I'll actually test it out too and wash them after I get done and see how that works. Uh, I usually use the um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like the little it's like the little tray of stuff that you have to you have to soapy up. It's like a little bar. Those work really well. Then we have the folding travel paint palette, but it was replaced by the nine well. Uh, plastic palette there, which is okay, I guess, because if you guys haven't noticed this about me, I can't read. Pretty illiterate, if you ask me. It's not his fault he can't read! But the Folding Travel Paint Palette, I read it as the Folding Travel Paint Easel. I don't know how I did that. So, I, in my mind, I may have read the words Folding Travel Paint Palette, but in my mind, I was thinking, oh, it's a little easel, cool. Yeah, that's not what it was. So, then replacing it with this is perfectly fine. I don't know what I was planning about. Oh yeah, I'm stupid. Then we have the stainless steel brush washer and dryer, which is pretty cool. I like that. I, I will tell you, they seem like pretty economical products. Just from looking at the packaging, just from looking at, well, the packaging. I mean, you have artist brushes by high quality, and then you have brush washer, item number blank. So, I'm assuming they buy these in bulk and stuff. Uh, I'm, I'm not complaining yet. I'm not complaining. I'm just I'm just saying, yeah, they look kind of cheap, but I love cheap, especially if it works. So that's all I care about. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open and test them out a bit. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I almost wanna call BS on this because it's definitely got some oil in it and it seems oil-based. And if it doesn't dry super quick, it's definitely oil-based, but how is that gonna mix with water? That's what I'm curious about. I don't think it will, but I've never used this. So we'll have to try and see. Big old brush here. And I'm gonna try to use the same brush on each color. That way we can see how well it washes off with uh, just water. And that's all I got over here is just water. We'll see what happens. Upon first grabbing these brushes, they do feel very cheap. Very, like the, the head's kind of loose. Um, they do feel cheap. They don't have a brand name on them. Um, but like I said, I will not discount I will not discredit a brush just because it's a cheap brush. I have some cheap brushes that have lasted me forever. If you take care of brushes, they usually last a pretty good while, so. I'm not saying it's bad, I'm just saying it feels pretty cheap. You cheap little rudder! We'll start with a dark color first. This is the brown. Or the burnt sienna, I should say. Okay, it's not bad. It's actually covering that black pretty well. Better than I thought it would. Here's that moment of truth. Let's, let's, uh. Good lord! It does. It comes right off. So I wonder if it's a different kind of oil they use, or I don't know of any oil that'll mix with water. Granted, I don't know much about oil and water mixing, but man, if it's really oil-based, that's fantastic. That's awesome. All right, so I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take this red, and I'm gonna put it close and try to mix it and see what it looks like when I start mixing. It's mixing pretty well. I'm digging this. Look at that. I mean, it kind of mixes right in there. Hmm, interesting. Let's try some little Bob Ross technique and, oh, that wiped it right off. <laughs> My bad. I'm still amazed how it just washes right off there. It's, it's pretty incredible, actually. It seems, I swear, I think it washes off almost easier than acrylic does. So I'm pretty impressed by that. Yeah, it cleans. I mean, if you can, you can see there that the yellow is still pretty clean overall. See, I'm a big fan of uh, of my colors drying fast so I can I can color over top of them because I'm very impatient. That's why I don't paint a lot. Man, that is an awesome looking sky color out there. Look at that. Ooh, baby. Oh my God, is Jake gonna do landscape? I know I've teased that before and it ended up not doing landscape, but I might do a landscape this time. I'm really bad at landscapes, keep that in mind. But uh, I might try it just to, just to see, man, because this is pretty cool looking. I like this a lot. Let's try the green next. I hate wasting one of these uh, these canvases too because they're pretty rad. But at the same time, I need to test these out first because I have no idea what I'm doing with these. It's a good color green. I am losing some bristles on the brush, so it's not bad. Um, I expect it to not cover great because it is going on black. So for it being on black, it actually doesn't look too bad. I have to put my Bob Ross skills to the test today, which are, well, non-existent pretty much. Yeah, it mixes really well, I can say that for sure. And it, the brush is a little wet still, and it's just, it's mixing so good. I can't say that, this paint's really good for mixing. It's, uh, if it stays wet super long because it is oil-based and it mixes with water like this well on the canvas, I'll be really impressed. Damn, what am I gonna do? Oh my gosh, let's go this white and see. I'm gonna try to decide what I'm gonna paint with this. I'm really leaning towards the landscape, but I'm not good at landscapes. Now I wonder if I use a hair dryer on this, would it dry the layers quicker? I do like charcoal pencil, it shows up really well in here, and I like uh, I like the dryness of it, which I've always enjoyed charcoal. I haven't used it in a long time, but, so I'm hoping this dries quick enough. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna hit this with the old hair dryer. Let's see how long it takes this to dry. If I can dry it pretty quick, and then paint over it, that would be amazing. Okay, so it definitely does not dry like acrylics. It dries like oil paint. I mean, that was hit for a good minute and a half, and it is, it's still uh, all kinds of wet. Which is good, I'm not complaining about that. I just don't know how well I can do this. 
So I'm going to go ahead and get started on this piece and we'll see what happens. Ooh, I'm scared. All right, so yeah, we're gonna use this and I'll wash the brushes and I'll let you know how I felt about it all. All right, let's get started. So I am gonna preface this by saying I'm only a painter in a sense that I can take the paint and put it on a canvas and paint a picture. Not well, at all. So keep that in mind. Now, it's not a very good painting, but whatever. It, 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 I've painted worse, but I've also painted better. Anywho, so to start this painting off with, I had to keep in mind that the canvas was black. I'm not very good at working on black when, unless it's just like white. I can go straight white to black and make shades and stuff like that, and that's fine. But doing colors and stuff, it kind of threw me off, uh, and I'm not a very good painter as it is, like I said before. So this was very different for me. Uh, it was pretty fun though. Uh, so the paint itself, like I said, is water mixable oil paint which to me boggles my mind but it seemed pretty legit like you could mix the paint with water and it would spread really easily but it also took forever to dry because it was oil based so yeah it makes me think there's a little bit of witchcraft going into these boxes i would like to know what uh what kind of seance that old smart art is performing to get this devilry or wizardry inside of a box but it was pretty astonishing. Um, they mix really, really well with water. They blend really well. Uh, the paints, I've never heard of Cobra before. Cobra Study Water Mixable Oil Colors, but they were awesome. Like, I really, really enjoyed them. It's kind of, I think, the perfect medium for me because I like acrylics. I like how oils blend, but I also like how acrylics are you know water mixable so i can thin them down and stuff like that and you can do that with these and it was surprisingly awesome so i laid my base colors out for the background which i basically started with white and like a light blue and kind of worked my way out to a darker blue and then tried to blend it out into the black now after that i just took the blue and mixed it with some brown to try to make a kind of a black color which it turned out pretty good actually kind of looked like a black and then i threw the trees in there just some random squiggly lines it's essentially like if bob ross were stricken blind it's kind of what he would make is something like this so if nothing else, I can say I am as good as a blind Bob Ross. So yeah. But then after that, I kind of laid down the uh, the ground, the foreground there, with just a, a lighter shade of blue, and then sort of stippling over it with uh, some white paint, uh, just to make the highlights and whatnot. Like I said, can't stress enough, I'm not great at what I do. If I practice some um, painting, I'm sure I can get way better, but I'm more of a pen and pencil comic book kind of guy. So that being said, let's get to the part that everyone wants to know, was it worth it? So Smart Art values this box at $64.89. Actual retail price of this box is $57.48. So they did overvalue themselves by about eight bucks but that being said they do offer free shipping and for the boxes you can actually get them as cheap as $44 and I think 98 cents if you order four months six months in advance yeah six months in advance so you can get them up about 44 bucks they're $50 a box so you're only saving about eight bucks with it but you're still saving about eight bucks eight usually over five dollars is kind of where I want to save my money if I'm only saving two three dollars a box I'm like there's no point in it um, but honestly, this box, if it's something that you're going to use, it's well worth it. Uh, me personally, I don't think I would get this box just because I don't see myself using all the supplies in it. I, I dare say I'm getting too many supplies. I don't see myself painting four canvases. I don't see myself using all the tubes of paint. Um, so it wouldn't be worth it to me. Now, that's not to say it isn't worth it. I actually really like it. Uh, I have really enjoyed painting it. Even though I didn't like the piece I did, I really enjoyed making it which is rare for me to say because I'm not a big painter and I don't really like it all that much. But that being said, uh, they offer free shipping in the United States, so that's covered already. It's 50 bucks a month. Um, you get quite a bit, and the great thing about this is you have four canvases in this box, so you can take this paint and these canvases and you could share them with other people. So for 50 bucks, I mean, you and your family could you know, have a little painting day. For 50 bucks, that ain't bad. So I like it. I, I actually really do like it, and I'm not just saying that because they did give me the box. I'm, I'm letting you know that right now. Now, I will be honest. I was really hoping that I would like this box because I didn't want to have to shit all over it after them giving me a free box, but I really do like it. So it could have been a little bit better on the value side. Uh, it was only, like I said, about $8 more than what you paid pay for it but it's still a pretty good box for what you get i will say that the paint brushes i was pleasantly surprised by how good they were the brushes were actually really awesome except for the finest one uh the smallest fine point you get is absolute garbage it is a friggin' dumpster fire it's the worst brush it had like 10 bristles on it and half of them were all twisted together and shit it was an awful 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 brush but that's like an economy pack of brushes so i didn't expect much out of it to be honest and the general charcoal pencil i didn't really use all that much i actually didn't use it any at all in the final picture because well where the paints are oil based it does take a minute for them to dry and i didn't really feel like i could use it over top of the paint 
and also where I was doing a landscape, I didn't really sketch out anything. I didn't feel I needed to, so I just didn't use it. Um, but when I tested it out beforehand, it actually worked pretty well on the canvas, so I could definitely see you using this. Uh, but all in all, the box worked really well together. I really enjoyed it. The value was there. Uh, wasn't the best value, but it wasn't bad. Uh, but if this is a box you think you'd be interested in, like you could use these paints and you and your family could sit down, or you can make a few paintings over a month, this is definitely the box for you. Uh, the soap and water works really great. The Mona Lisa soap is awesome. And the little brush dryer is cool too. It's kind of cute. Like you can you can scrape it around at the bottom there in your water, and then you just hang them up on the bristles and let them dry. So yeah, it's a big doomsayer thumbs up in general. Uh, personally, I would probably pass on it. But it's not a bad box. So if this looks like something that would interest you, I'd say get it. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do really appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed the unboxing and I hope you enjoyed the piece I made. I hope I helped you decide whether or not you want to get the box. And once again, thank you so much Smart Art for viewing the channel and being interested in it and sending me a box to review. I really appreciate that. That's super cool. You got anything else you want me to review? You send it old Jake's way. And that's just not just Smart Art. That's anybody. If you got like a brake pad that you want me to review or Chinese dream catchers or Cambodian lead based makeup. I'll, I don't care. Give me free stuff. I'll review whatever. But I'll be honest about it. See, I'm a sellout and a shield, but I'm at least an honest sellout shield. And I'll let you know. So, yeah. So, anyways, free stuff, me. Me stuff, free now. Thank you. But, appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and keep on drawing on. Later.